Okay, I'm James Javula. One of the major subjects that I cover is clean and affordable energy, which is SDG 7. And uh, now we are in the city center, Blanta. It's around three and the power has gone off. Now what you're hearing in the background is a generator. Uh, you hear these generators everywhere you go, in shops, in hospitals, maize mills, like even in workplaces. But that's the penalty that the country is paying for investing in a single source of energy, which is hydropower. For the past uh, 50 years, we've been investing on um, hydropower plants in one, on one river, which is the Shire River, the largest that we have in Malawi. But lately, because of climate change, uh, we've had a lot of dr uh, frequent droughts, and as a result, the river has been drying, and we've also lost a lot of trees. As a result of that loss of vegetation, the river is, the river is very silted, and sometimes the turbines have to stop. And if you add to that low investment in developing our sources of power, um, this has left the country uh, with a fragile energy sector, which cannot supply the country 24-7. As a result, there's power rationing. Where we are, it's our turn in Blantyre City. So enjoy the sound, but it means now they can't run uh, every part of um, every part of business in this city center cannot run some have to close shop as a result of the energy gap that we are experiencing recently we've had conversations about diversity and diversifying the energy sources is one of the key themes in our energy policy we are mostly talking about co um, investing in solar energy investing in wind energy and the investing in the geothermal energy uh, unfortunately even investing in coal at a time many people many countries are actually cancelling new investments in that sector so um, in malawi currently the major problem is not just low access to to uh, to reliable energy which is electricity in this case it's also about reaching to the greatest number of the population that is left out. Only about 10% uh, of the population have access to the national grid. The rest, have uh, about 6%, uh, have to do with solar for lighting, and the others literally have no uh, energy to help them do business or even see light in the dark. So, this has become a major problem because there is an agreement, we all seem to agree that we need energy to run our economy, but we simply don't have, um, we don't see enough happening. Recently, uh, government has been investing in some, in some projects, and this include uh, the private and public um, partnerships We've seen a number of uh, independent power suppliers coming in, coming in to support the national power supplier to make sure that every person uh, has power when they need it. We've also seen um, government investing in solar mini grids because extending the grid has actually failed to bring electricity to about 96% of our population. Since, 19, since 1980, 40 years ago, only 4% of the rural population, and that's where the majority of our population lives, only 4% have electricity. At that speed, 10, um, 10 years supplying just 1% of the rural population, I think we may go more than nine, nine centuries to make sure that everyone has access to electricity by, um, as we want to, what we want to achieve in 2030. So I think I'm happy to see that government now has seen how slow extending the grid can be, mostly that we have a lot of places that are not easy and efficient to reach with the grid, that now we're investing in mini grids. I hope this will be the beginning of a new awakening and so we'll travel faster to make sure that everyone 
has the power by 2030, not in, in nine centuries to come. Because we may not be there, so we may not even tap the, the benefits of having it, electricity. I think if you put, for me, electricity is not just about lighting. It's about, it's something I can put to use to uplift myself from poverty. And I've seen people doing business just because, simply because they have lighting. It, 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 it really ranges from that tailor that you see making things at night on a veranda to all those women that you see in our, in our markets doing business when they should have been dead asleep. Thank you.